You're listening to the Abdominal Acupuncture Podcast with Dave Shipsey and Pia Kolomberg. Hi, Dave. Hey, Pia. Good to talk to you again in this beautiful, beautiful summer. It is. It is actually nearly too hot now, isn't it? Oh, living in Ireland, I can't believe that I've even had that thought for a couple of weeks now. It's terrible, but yeah. yeah. The heat is everywhere, and uh, I mean, you see also this bushfire, and, and even in Sweden, we think that's probably, uh, they never heard about really uh, bushfires. This heat is a big, big topic, and it's actually our topic for that podcast. It is dealing with summer heat, um, and it, yeah, I mean... The, I'm seeing as well in the news about all these um, casualties, uh, people suffering with, you know, respiratory problems and directly with uh, with heat stroke. Mm. Yeah. So um, it is a very real issue at the moment. Um, so yeah, I, th- I thought it, yeah, it'd be a good thing to talk about. Um, and I suppose. There are obvious ways of dealing with it, uh, using, you know, cooling foods and all that kind of stuff. Um, Drinking enough. Drinking enough, hydrating yourself. Um, One thing that I I did like the sound of um, was a coriander drink. Really? Um, Coriander. Juice, yeah, yeah. Coriander juice um, is really, really good for clearing heat. Okay. I, I love coriander. I've never uh, had I coriander don't. Juice. Oh, I do. I you think probably, it, it tastes like soap. Love, does it? I I find it does taste like soap. But um, if if you have the knowledge or the 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 intention, you're taking it for clearing heat then the motivation is also different but just for fun i wouldn't drink that no <laughs> not yeah. really R- rather my, a watermelon watermelon is more my my cup of tea i can tell um, you because that's um, very very nice also as a, a cooling uh ingredient but then also i mean tcm and especially abdominal acupuncture also offers quite uh a huge variety also to cool to cool down people absolutely um and actually when i was when i was in china we um we used to bleed some of the abdominal points as well some of the abdominal okay Mm. Mm. which ones would you bleed well, I suppose depending on what was going on, but I suppose to clear heat, you could use um, either stomach twenty five or just below um, REM ten. Mm-hmm. Um, but the only problem is you're going to get, as you love to call it, a lovely big Ray- rainbow effect. Rainbows, yeah, because I normally use the the ear the ear point the ear apex. I just yeah, did that today yeah. with someone who was so hot, and uh, you see an effect, an immediate effect when you do bleeding. Mm, totally, yeah. And you don't yeah. have the rainbow. I mean, you might have a tiny little bruise on the ear, but you can't even see that, and it doesn't hurt. And is it is it difficult? Because honestly, I've never even thought of well leading it... a point on the stomach, but. Is it not difficult that it bleeds? It's not really, no. Um, but you need to use a, a little cup as well just to to encourage the bleeding. Okay, yeah. You um, you you combine it with with uh, with a cup on top of it. That's it, yeah. And of course, that's going to enhance the the bruising effect even oh, yeah. more. Definitely, yeah. Then I can, because with the ear, I just actually press a little bit that the blood is coming out the same thing when you do it on your feet and so the traditional bloodletting uh mm. but i never thought about on the on the belly yeah and now it's the bikini time so um depending which client you have they're probably not all happy of having now bruises or rainbows well. on the belly but uh i mean if there is a real uh, need to it i mean uh 
excuse is also the kind of effect. Of Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of balancing it with, with, you know, if you're, if you're suffering with, with the effects of heat stroke and, you know, I mean, that, that can have really, really horrible um, effects with sickness and all kinds of headache and all that kind of stuff. A little bruise isn't going to, isn't a lot to pay for, you know. Exactly. Yeah. For- I had once in my life uh, a, a heat stroke. I still remember up to today. I was, I think I was about 14, 13, 14. Mm-hmm. You really think you're dying. You are, you feel so miserable, really, really so miserable that probably you accept anything to make you feel better. Yes. As you say bruising. Pfft, so what? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I, I suppose the, I, I, I don't know what, what other, um, symptoms you had, but, um, insomnia and irritability would be often. Oh, yeah. And nausea, nausea. I think the hardest thing, uh, headache, I mean, splitting headache, nausea. And then because you feel really sick as a dog, sorry to say that you yeah. should, you should drink. And then you can't, so you're really in a vicious circle, because you know you're you're you you got too hot, so you need to add up on your liquid liquids, and you can't actually because then you have to throw up again. So this is then then it becomes quite dangerous, because yeah. uh, then you're and as and as a kid even more because that goes even quicker. Um, so. It's not to be taken easily because people think, yeah, a little bit too much of a heat can can turn very quickly nasty. Absolutely, yeah, 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 and and it is. It's that it, the way it um, it zaps you of energy as well, and and then you're not thinking straight, um, because it it can have um, serious effects on your mental. Capacity as well, definitely, and then you are you are not really well judging the situation. That's true. So people should be very very aware of that. And yeah. I know it's not always sexy wearing a hat, but well, you know what? When you've a head like mine, <laughs> um, and I have been caught out a few times. I, I actually went to um, I went to a uh, open air. Uh, festival there a couple of weeks ago and it was really really hot and i couldn't believe of course i hadn't brought a hat yeah um, but we had to spend most of the day under a tree seeking shade i mean it's it's crazy you know in ireland this is not a a, a thing that i would often have to do i'd You're usually not used to it yeah i'd be hiding under a tree to get away from the rain but um i suppose yeah the the you know, keep yourself hydrated and um, the likes of apple cider vinegar can replenish the magnesium and potassium. And um, as I said, yeah, the coriander juice. Oh, yeah, coriander juice. Really good for hot flushes as well. As well. Okay. Yeah. So um, so how do you do that? You you actually just put it through a juicer, through our... Uh, yeah, that's okay. it. And... Maybe add a little uh, pinch of uh, sugar. Uh, yeah, to make it maybe a little bit more likable to, to, to swallow. But I suppose um, the points that I'd use, abdominal points, um, I, I've seen quite a few people uh, who were suffering with digestive problems, either constipated or, um, or diarrhea. Oh, the opposite, yeah. So, uh, so they do I at the moment, yeah. So I suppose the the, the go to form format for me would be um, harmonizing the middle jabs. So stomach twenty five on spleen fifteen, mm-hmm. uh, and I would definitely use um, just a uh, ren twelve and ren four. Um, so what's that? Heaven and earth. Yeah, to stay simple. To keep it simple, yeah, and. I suppose, depending on the um, extent of the heat, um, you know, if if the heart is uh, really overheating and and they're, 
you know, maybe particularly irritated and a bit um, not thinking straight and, you know, not sleeping properly, I would actually go quite deep um, to activate the back well aspect. Mm. I would go quite deep with REN 12 uh, and direct it just slightly towards REN 4 and same REN 4 I would direct towards um, so just put it at an angle maybe 45 degrees towards the navel towards the navel yeah so that it's it's harmonizing you know that the, mm. the kidney is uh, cooling the um, the heart yeah so to have this kind of heart or fire water connection exactly and um of course, you can always utilize the um, just below round 10, as I said. The water point. Yeah, yeah. For the do 14 and um, cooling effect, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I suppose, like, I have seen people who are just, uh, you know, as, with the heat and with the extended light, um, you know, here it, it, it gets bright at like, four o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting a lot of people who are just so agitated because they can't sleep and they're too hot. I'd I'd often use um, all the kidney points and, you know, beside round 12, round round 10, six and four. So what's that? Kidney 13, kidney, um, or AB7, kidney... 17, kidney 19, uh, also as a way to uh, enhance the sleep, improve the sleep, because all those chong points will um, will help to uh, send more blood to the heart and, mm-hmm. yeah, help with the sleep. And also, depending a little bit that insomnia, I have people at the moment when you ask them, uh, are you waking up? Yeah, I'm waking up. What time? Three o'clock. So um, liver... Liver is an issue as well because, uh, as you say, you have a different kind of lifestyle with this kind of weather that includes alcohol. Yeah. Because people are staying awake probably longer. You have barbecues with beer, a nice glass of wine, or probably it ends up going to be a bottle of wine. (laughs) And, uh, yeah, poor liver gets quite uh, a lot to do. So that reflects... Uh, into into the uh, the waking up rhythm because it's always so funny when I say do you wake up at three o'clock in the morning. How do you know? <laughs> it's always so funny. I think, uh, yeah, I'm a magician. <laughs> <laughs> so what? the four yeah. gates, I guess, will be also. I mean, abdominal four gates will be probably not a bad idea. Yeah, or um, as well, you know, the way. Of course, you can use uh, abdominal points to um, to activate the, the traditional points as well. So, yeah. I mean, traditionally, pericardium 3, UB40, LI11 yeah. are often used to clear heat depending on where it's um, expressing it. Yeah. Um, so, you, you could use AB1. The elbow point and yeah, for for liver, yeah. To, if if you want to keep keep it simple, that's true. Then he, uh, he, you avoid to have four needles on top of it with the four gates on 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 the abdomen. Yeah, yeah, um, and you know yourself, Pia. Simplicity is is what I'm all about. Yeah, sometimes less is more. Exactly, exactly, um, and it, because. It, well, in in our climate in Ireland, anyway, there's often dampness uh, with the heat as well, and um, so again, the the AB points, if you want to go a little bit deeper, will clear the damp, and mm. 25 will clear the damp as well. Um, so yeah, that they're all all good options, um, and. Uh, a nice cool beer. I know it's it's probably yeah, it's probably not the best way, but some evenings it's really nice outside. Yeah, you 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 need to enjoy life as well, but 
It's the difference between a nice pint of beer, a pint of lager, or a whole barrel of it. That makes a difference. <laughs> Somewhere in between is, is good. Yeah, so it should be a little bit between. And I know what I'm talking about, although I don't like beer, but I'm living in, you know, I'm living in the south of France, in the middle of vineyards. I'm completely uh, at the source. If I run out the one evening of wine, I just can go to the neighbors and get and get uh-huh. some bottles. So the the danger of then, oh, it's so nice, and another glass, and another glass, and another glass. And then you have a headache, not because you have a sunstroke, so no, more, more likely because you have a hangover the next day. So then we have to have another topic to talk about. <laughs> there you go. But summer heat. And you know what, talk. Yeah. Well, just since you mentioned hangover, Hangover is probably one of the more difficult things to treat with acupuncture. It That's is, yeah. Sleep. Um, I do have a claim to fame, though. I did get treated in one of Ireland's uh, maternity hospitals. For, her, <laughs> for hangover? I did. <laughs> okay, that's another topic, Dave. We should, yeah. we should talk about that at another time, but that probably fills about an hour of... <laughs> Um, but but that may make let's make people curious about it. If you want to hear about Dave's maternity treatment, <laughs> please please uh, let him know. When the nurse walked into the room, she she was shocked to see me lying in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so don't give it away completely. No, don't I give won't. it away. <laughs> yeah. So again. People, don't forget to drink. It is really, and I'm not talking about only alcohol, because it's really the problem. When I saw, I don't know if you if you noticed that, but people tend, whenever I ask, so what do you drink to, during the day? I always get the first answer I get. Yeah, no, I don't drink enough. Makes me always laugh, because yeah. this is not an answer. It's only, yeah, I don't drink enough. And I said, yeah, I don't know. Tell me. What would you drink? And I tell you if it's enough. But honestly, most often they're right. Then you hear, yeah, half a liter, not even. And I thought, yeah, with that weather, that's not on. Really not yeah. on. So, totally, yeah, yeah. So we can talk a lot about abdominal acupuncture, but if the rest doesn't fit, you even any needle, uh, any needle is is not enough to. To hydrate the body. I've actually been um, drinking quite a bit of coconut water as well recently, mm. and that's really great because um, it, it's got lots of um, vitamins and minerals in as exactly. well for replenishing. Yeah. Um, it's very good for the brain as well. Oh, there you go. I was wondering yeah, why. See, yeah, you're wondering why you're so intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's um, uh, coconut water is really, really good. Yeah, I, I, I love it as well. Um, Brilliant. And I suppose uh, with all this heat, a lot of uh, inflammatory um, conditions can flare up. Yeah. Uh, so therefore, so, also in your cooking, you using uh, yeah. what do you call it? You don't call it curcuma. You you call it in English turmeric. Turmeric. Turmeric, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, is a good, is a good uh, way to uh, to avoid it. And then we are at the moment here. It's the tomato season, and tomatoes are quite have a cooling effect as well. We, Toma- we, tomato mozzarella, how good is that? Mm, we we had such. Uh, we we just have a, a little um, a vegetable box that we grow vegetables in and. The amount of lettuce that we got out of like a small area, and that's really cooling, of course, as well. That is cooling, yeah, that's true. So, again, uh, going back to the to the topic in general, also stay seasonal, eat seasonal. It doesn't make sense to eat now something that is uh, whatever a winter a winter vegetable. Yeah. At the moment, everything that is actually around has that cooling effect, but. Be careful 
because if you overdo it, then you have the opposite. And we have to talk about coldness again. Well, we'll be getting to that season, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, because uh, autumn is already energetically here. We are not anymore in summer. Uh, people yeah. tend to forget that because you have, we have today 31 degrees. So you forget that is energetically already, we are already not even in the interseason. Autumn mm. is here. So people, you should start to prepare for winter, although it doesn't sound very nice to say that. But yeah. that's the reality. So is that is that a good excuse for me to indulge myself tonight and eat loads? Loads of what? General loads. It, it just eat loads of food because yeah. I'm, I'm stocking up now for the, the winter. Oh, uh, for hibernation? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Any excuse. If you if you consider yourself as a grizzly bear, go ahead. Do you know what, Liv? Do you know what, Pia? I, um, I put my back out um, two weeks ago, three weeks ago. But mm -hmm. I've, I've, thankfully, I have a... It, sorted now it's fixed but i actually um you know when you get into a situation like this it's when you think oh i should really do a video of me doing abdominal acupuncture on myself yeah you should why didn't you no i did oh you did but do you know what i don't think youtube would let, allow me to put it up oh okay because it's looking at my stomach and i was like oh my god so maybe i've actually um I've stored enough food for the autumn and for the... <laughs> Already, you're ready. And probably for another two winters ahead. <laughs> so, snow snow can come tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> well, uh, 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 plenty of flubber. Okay, there. so uh, I think we're losing a little bit now the view of our topic, so that means let's stop it now. We're going to have miles more topics to talk about. But again, abdominal is phenomenal. Excellent. Okay, right. talk to you soon, Dave. You've been listening to the Abdominal Acupuncture Podcast with Dave Shipsey and Pia Klumberg, where you learned tips, tricks, and techniques to master the art of abdominal acupuncture.